Wow. Another cool morning. It is Monday. And we've got lots to talk about today. We are going to do a little bit of a thorough review on the 2016 GMC Sierra. So stay tuned. Okay guys, as promised, a review in depth, or at least what I can figure out, of the 2016 GMC Yukon SLT. So first thing that we're going to notice on this truck is that it does have the HID headlight bulbs and there is the LED daytime running lights. Thank goodness the emergency brake does work on this because I was just standing in front of a 6,000 pound truck that was in gear. It's also got fog lights and sensors across the front bumper and that is to help with your lane departure as well as your proximity uh, for parking and moving around the parking lot. It also has brand new Bridgestone tires on it. These are 22 inch and they are Dueler ATs. And from what I can tell, these this particular vehicle is sporting the Escalade rims or what might also be found on the Yukon Denali. It does have all the power options. It has power mirrors as well as power folding mirrors so that if you do park somewhere in a tight situation, you can hit the mirrors and they will power fold in automatically and just hit it one more time and they fold out. Also, it has memory seats. So if you've got two key fobs, you can program the seat settings uh, for the key fobs. So as soon as you get in the vehicle, it knows which key it's detecting and the seat will adjust itself accordingly. So if you've got someone like me, who's six foot two and sits with the seat all the way back, then you're more inclined to probably want to have that seat set down and back. Or someone like my sister, who is barely five feet, she's going to be sitting right on top of the steering wheel so that when that airbag goes off, it's going to blow her head off. But that's her prerogative. She can set that wherever she wants. This vehicle has almost all the options that a Denali would have. It's a step below the Denali, but here's what it does not have. Everything else you can bank on that it does. It does not have heads up display. It does not have DVD and it does not have the panoramic sunroof or moonroof. Other than that, basically, oh, sorry. And it doesn't have navigation, but basically everything else is here. Heated steering wheel, heated and cooled front seats, heated back seats. Um, it does have satellite radio, climate control for both driver and passenger. You've got your rear climate control here, or like I said before, on the back of the console, you can control that separately. It does have wireless charging for those phones that have that option. You can lay your phone right here while you're driving and it will charge your phone wirelessly. Of course, it being a GM, it does have OnStar and one of the neat features, and I mean, small things really amuse my mind, small minds, I guess, is this little feature right here, a little storage compartment in behind the radio and inside there is a USB. So for instance, if you have your iPhone or your Android device plugged in and you want to play music from it. You can plug it in there, close the door, your phone is out of sight, out of mind, and you can control it from the radio. All the steering wheel controls are pretty basic. You've got cruise control over here. You've got all your menu control for the center screen here. And your wipers and rear wiper controls are on the signal light switch. This steering wheel is a power wheel, so you can adjust the tilt in and out, up and down, right from a switch. And over here is your steering, or sorry, your uh, pedal control, so you can move your pedals in and out. Again, for me, they can be far away, but for my five foot sister who can't reach it with a block of wood, you can use this to adjust it back to you. Also, you've got your traction control, your lane departure, and your park assist lights there. This is one heck of a nice vehicle. Um, I could see myself driving one of these, not quite sure how I'd pay for it. I'd probably have to steal it, but, um, and then being able to put the gas into it after the fact, I'd have to steal that too. So uh, it is a nice vehicle. It's very comfortable. The seats are very, very comfortable. When I drove it back from St. John the other day, um, there was no issues uh, driving for an hour and 20 minutes and not being comfortable. Uh, heated seats are great. There's multiple levels of that. The same with the uh, cooling, uh, the, the cooled seats. 
something I've never had, never, never, never felt before uh, up until I drove that Mustang a week or so ago, uh, and now in this. So when you drive a vehicle like this with all the options that it has, you certainly are spoiled. You hate to drop back and drive anything else. Um, there are a few options that I could do without, but nevertheless, I think if I was going out to buy a new or fairly new vehicle, heated steering wheel would be one. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just sold on the heated steering wheel. But uh, that is something that I think that I would like to have in my own personal daily driver. So this is just my little review of the uh, 2016 GMC Yukon SLT. It does have the 5.3 and not the bigger motor. Uh, the 5.3, if I recall, puts out somewhere around 385 horsepower, um, and it works good. If you're in the market for a big honking American SUV, this is your ticket. I really like it, and if you're looking for one, let me know. My information is in the comment section below, and a small deposit will land one of these in your driveway. So last night we had a couple of customers that were gonna come in and take a look at the 2016 Hyundai Elantra. And the funny thing is, is that one of the customers is a repeat customer. We've sold them several vehicles, and the other was somebody new, and I knew that they were both interested in it. And in this line of work, you don't know what you're supposed to do when you have two people interested in the same car, especially one that's a really good customer, and ultimately, the one with the cash first wins. So I was tossed on, on whether to you know, hold the car for the customer that's a good customer of ours. Um, but at the end of the day, a customer is a customer and money talks. I hated to kind of pull this one out from underneath our, our regular customers, but at the end of the day, they understood. I sold the car to the new customer last night our existing customer came in this morning and said that he was interested in the red 2014 Corolla anyway. So at the end of the day, everything seemed to have worked out uh, and we sold two cars that we have on the lot as opposed to just one because I thought, well, if I sell the Elantra, I may just have to go find another one. But anyways, at the end of the day, he's interested in that. I'm going to work some numbers for him. Hopefully we can get that one sold too. So our customers were just in, or at least the boss was in, my customer's wife, and she test drove the Corolla. So we're just going to park it back in the spot for now, and then they'll be in uh, by the end of the day. Oh my goodness. Break my knees getting in this thing. And hopefully they'll be in by the end of the day. Maybe we can seal this deal as well. Fingers crossed. If I only had somebody that could line us up every time we parked a vehicle, but you move a vehicle two or three times and you try and get them lined up and they just look all wonky. And if you look down there, those three are all right. This one's too far back. And then you come down to the Chevy Cruze and the Focus and well, they're lined up with each other, but not with the rest of them. Time to get some lines painted, I think. Well guys, the time has come. We have sold the 2016 Yukon and on trade, we've received a 2011 Tahoe right behind me. So I'm gonna take that home tonight. On another note, I did sell the red Corolla S. That's gone too. We've had a busy couple of days. It's almost seven o'clock and I'm just leaving the office here now. So it is time to go home and get some supper. This boy is starving. So although this Tahoe is loaded up really nice for 2011, it doesn't compare to what the 2016 did with all the uh, technology and safety features that it had. However, it does have leather seats. It's got the sunroof and it does have the drop down DVD player. Um, so a couple of features that the new one actually didn't have was the sunroof and the DVD player. But uh, just the same, it is a very nice vehicle, and I think we should be able to do all right on it. It's very clean, and he even put four new tires on it before he traded it in. This is what we have to work with for the next little while. I'll probably drive it for a little bit, see how I like it. Anyways, guys, as always, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my videos. Please click the subscribe button below, 
and hit that bell notification right beside it so that you get notified when I upload a new video. As always, I always say as always, don't I? I don't know why I do that. I guess I'm just used to saying it. As always, thanks again. We'll see you in the next upload.